I'm not going to use that med pen until we've landed over here safely. Okay, we did it. Now the question is, can we walk on that beam or do we got to jump? I'm just going to jump. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, I did not mean to carry. That's okay. <laughs>what up guys astro manny here back at it again with another video and today we're going to go check out the new settlement on hurston it's called cutter's ridge i believe that's what it's called i think that's what it's called yes that's what it's called now if you want some cool awesome armor or should i say clothing because this is kind of actually clothing it's not technically armor from cutter's ridge like this let me show you how it's done. We're going to show you how to get there, and we're going to show you more and explore and all that kind of cool stuff. Give you some little sneak peekers on Cutter's Ridge. And this is on the PTU, yes, but I don't believe that this will have to be changed for um, 3.22 live because, I mean, they're not going to change the location of the place or anything. But anyways, we're going to go to Cutter's Ridge on Hurston, the new settlement, and check out this awesome new cool clothing slash armor. All right, guys, so if you guys enjoy this look of this armor and whatnot, there's plenty more of it to, to show you. There's a lot of different types, and we will take a look at them. All right? Sound good? Uh, I think that sounds fantastic, don't you think? All right, let's get into it, guys, and you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're starting off in Hurston orbit, okay? So we're going to do the whole thing for you guys, because you know how Astro Manny does it, right? We just we give you everything the whole way. We walk through it together, all right? And today it's featured by the Origin 325A. It is the regular Origin 325A because uh, when you're doing PTU, you don't get your fancy customization skins of the 325 or any of the 300 series. So in that case, we're stuck with the regular uh, paint, even though it's still beautiful, okay? So there's a couple ways to get the Cutter's Ridge, guys. There's a couple ways. And I think the easiest way and the best way to do it is through um what do you call it um uh, compass heading and instead of using om markers okay so you can do it through om markers but my preferred method is through compass heading i think it's the simplest it might not be the fastest but it's definitely the simplest so what place are we going to start at we're going to start at hdsf ismail that's where we're going to fly to first. We're going to set a quantum beacon there, and that's where we're going to start. And then we're going to set our distance to a, or we're going to set our compass to a certain heading, and we're just going to fly in that direction for quite some time and then hopefully get to it. And when we're doing the distance flying, we'll probably speed up and fast forward the footage so that you guys aren't sitting there waiting 10 minutes while I fly. Um, and if you want to, it'll be sped up so you could slow it down, you know, with the YouTube slowdown, like you could do different speeds and whatnot. So there's all that as well. But it, nonetheless, I'll probably throw in some music while we're flying there and it'll be sped up. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to talk you through everything. If you guys want to see more of Astro Manny and the Astro Mercenaries, we are live. We, are, we do live stream most nights here on YouTube and on Twitch, um, mostly every single night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys do check that out and uh, and, and all the cool stuff because uh, down in the description below, obviously we have things like Discord and org information. So all that stuff that you guys would want to see, it's all there. And if you have any questions, do let me know. But here we are in our beautiful 325. It is gorgeous. And I did make sure that we are doing this during the daytime so that you can see visually everything and the place looks nice and everything um there's not i'm not going to talk too much about ship specs or anything like that because this is just stock 325a i, I didn't do anything fancy to it um nothing crazy because we're just flying somewhere uh, will we do low flying <laughs> maybe there's a chance to do low flying on hearse and maybe this could be just a whole video on low flying on hearse but the only thing is when you're low flying you're most of the time like moving around and changing directions. I don't want to change directions at any kind. I just want to go the same um, heading the whole way there. And that way we don't miss our target. Because I'm not very good at this whole thing, but uh, we'll figure it out. So the goal is to get as close as you can to HDS HDSF Ismail as possible. Okay, it is a bunker, so you don't want to be right over the top of it, right? Like you don't want to go down to the ground. 
but so what you want to do is go right over the top of it as much as you can without being in the range of the um, turrets themselves right so here's this we're a little bit in the range of the turrets so let's go a little bit higher up should be good here I'm gonna throw it into coupled mode I'm currently in decoupled but I'm now switching to coupled mode and as you can see we're right above our HGSF Ismail and I'm gonna be as clear as I can with this right so then we're gonna look we're gonna level out to where we're zero. Oh snap we're being shot by the turrets or at least we were okay so be aware of that make sure that you're well off well high enough away from the bunker to where you're not getting shot because I, I definitely was getting shot right there um, I, there was no volume or anything thankfully I just looked at my shields and noticed they were dropping okay so we're gonna level out we're gonna go to zero degrees right here the crosshair is completely zero degrees on the pitch and yaw then we're going to find oh we're already there we're gonna look for 195 the marker 195 on your compass here I'll uh, zoom in a little bit with the mouse and stuff so you see how we're pitched at zero and we're at 195 on the compass. We're gonna change that compass a little bit. We want it to be like 196.5. So um, basically 197 almost. So that's a good spot. I, I would say anywhere in between this hash mark and the halfway mark or the 195 is a good spot. And we're just gonna fly straight. You're just gonna pick a spot in the distance and just fly straight. That's all we're gonna do. And we're gonna fly straight for a long time. Um, well, not a long time, 10 minutes or so. Well, it depends on how fast you are, on what ship you're flying and whatnot. Um, I'm also going to just hit cruise control, by the way. I just turn on cruise control, and then now we don't got to worry about it. You can use boost to go a little bit faster, get yourself some, some speed in there. But eventually your boost runs out, and then you go back to going like normal speed. But here in the, in the light fighter we're running, the 325A, um, you can go up to 575 basically with the boost so that cuts your travel time a little bit and whatnot you could also go lower if you want to do some low flying and without boost we are going like 350 so those are nice speeds uh, your, your heading on your compass is going to change I would say just try to keep it if you just fly in a straight line that you're going in the right spot your heading will change if you fly in a straight line but um, as long as you're in that somewhat area of the 195, 196, 197 spot on your compass, then you'll eventually reach the spot. Uh, again, you want to level yourself out to your zero so you don't hit the surface of the planet, right? So I'm going to adjust my heading a little bit. When you don't, you don't have to adjust your heading. As long as you fly in a straight line, you don't have to adjust your heading at all. So then I hit the boost, right? Get us a little bit of speed. We get some nice, you know, views of the of the planet. It's, it's beautiful. So, like I said, if you want to enjoy the low fly, go ahead and low fly. But just make sure that you're not going to hit the ground and end your journey early, and make sure you're kind of going in a straight line, right? So that's the goals here. But you are on a curved surface, right? The planet is curved. So do make sure that you are not going to hit that ground. Make sure that you're trying to stay leveled off with the planet itself. Again, the bearing, the heading is going to change a little bit. You're not traveling in a straight line um, according to your compass. You are traveling in a straight line, but according to your compass, you're not traveling in a straight line. So you don't have to make these minor adjustments here and there. Uh, it's going to change a little bit, but just try to stay in a straight line basically like this the whole way through. So I could talk you guys all the way through this, like I said, and I could do low flying and make it cool. I'm hitting the boost again to make sure we go a little bit quicker. But as long as you're just going a straight line, try to pick a landmark way out in the distance, but then the landmark's going to change, so then you got to try to pick another landmark. But basically just stay in a straight line. Uh, but yeah, and we'll, we'll get there. I'm going to fast forward the footage, throw in a little bit of music. It won't take too long. If you're going the speed that I'm going, if you're in a light fighter or a racing ship of what of, of those kind of sorts, you will be going 350, 500 when you're using boost. So you get there pretty quickly, um, and uh, that'll be good. But if you're using a bigger ship, it might take like 14 minutes or so. But in these small ships, it takes about seven. All right, sound good? I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit, let you guys enjoy the views and the scenes. Thank you. 
Alright guys, I am going to cut in here and talk about, hey, listen, we're coming up to the water, right? So when you get up to the water, that means you're coming up to the area where it is. And um, your direction, as long as you stay like in a straight line, like I said, you're sort of going in the right direction. You might have to veer off a little bit, but so when you get to the water, I'm going to get rid of cruise control here. Um, try to, you're going to take a, you're going to take a left here, right? And it's basically right in front of me over there. You see this this mountain so you just take a small left here to, to go to this mountain there's even a ship because someone else has already been exploring it um, i am going to let you guys know that as you get closer and closer to this location the settlement your frames are going to drop immensely like you're going to go to one frame a second until this until the whole area renders in it's going to take a while for the the place to render in and you're going to drop like i said you, my frames are already just in pain um, everything is in pain you can see it there in the distance the oil rig cutters rig you can see it and my frames are just going to start getting demolished so you have to wait for it to render in completely and then your frames will come back and it'll be okay but when you first show up to the place it is really 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 bad on your computer and it hurts like your computer just hates it now, since this is my second time coming to this place, it might actually not be so bad for me. But I'm telling you, the first time I got here, I was one frame a second for a while until the game was like, okay, let's render it in. As you can see, it's happening a bit. There's windmills all over. Yep. So make sure that you bring your ship to a stop and let it render in so you don't crash and wreck into anything. So make sure you're stopped. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm in coupled mode, I'm in safe speed, I'm completely stopped, I'm letting everything get rendered in, I'm taking it real nice and slow, I might move around a little bit just to help things render in a bit, and I don't know what I'm gonna do for the video recording in this part, if I'm just gonna show all the terrible frames while I'm talking over it, because it's not so bad the second time around, like I said, the first time I came here, it was awful. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. There's the windmills. 
the frames are already starting to get better so it's much much better the second time around because your computer has already rendered it in but your first time it is really 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 rough and this is it this is cutter's rig we're going to go ahead and land on that landing pad here soon and uh, show you more about it but i just want to take a little bit of uh, some air time around for you guys show this off look at that there's it's just blowing out fire it's pretty awesome they got some towers very very cool looking we'll go into first person there's some um ai here and whatnot this is where you get the armor like i said or maybe it's it's clothing not really armor and whatnot so nice there's a couple structures a couple buildings we'll check it all out on on foot but i just wanted to show that give you a um, an upper flight of it you could also go underneath it you know you could also zoom underneath it and stuff i'm not going to do it with the 325a i'm a little bit thick so but if you're in a real small ship you could fly underneath it and uh again with the frames and stuff i'm not going to risk it but yes you can definitely get non-thick ships down there i'm going to switch to decoupled mode pull out my landing gear and I'm gonna land here on the landing pad absolutely gorgeous this place is beautiful and it's a nice time of day um, it's a little bit cloudy in the sky it's a little bit cloudy but we're here we're in here like swimwear okay what is gonna be the thumbnail for this video I don't know let's find it right so here we are and um, one thing to note guys okay so I'm wearing the uh, the armor right that you get from the people here now this is like i said clothing so this helmet that i have on is not a helmet this is actually clothing so um what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get back in my seat real quick because because the 325 is a little bit weird with its um doors and and whatnot so what i'm going to do here is first off make sure i turn off my engines and then i'm going to open up my doors so that it opens up my doors and it drops my cargo you see that it dropped my cargo the reason why I'm doing that is so I can show off different sets of gear and whatnot so again we have this gear this is from here I did take it off NPCs from earlier before I showed the how to get here video which is what we're doing now but thing to note on Hurston you see this if you are not wearing a helmet you are in toxic atmosphere and you get dizzy you're not dying or anything but you're definitely drunk and wasted okay so do note that this is not armor what i'm wearing is not a helmet we are in toxic wasteland um so be aware of that there's another nice little screenshot which one will make it to the thumbnail you guys uh will know before i do well, I guess I will know before you do. But the reason why I dropped this down is because now I can stand on top of this and still access my inventory of my ship. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this clothing. Like I said, this is clothing. This is a jacket and this is a shirt. Taking that off. And these are pants. There was um, shoes and hands, but I, I lost those somewhere. So I don't know what happened to them. And then this is a mask, right? So I'm going to put that in the inventory of my ship, and I'm going to take out my armor and my helmet for my... So I'm not... So so I have a helmet on, and I can actually walk around. So, just so you can see that, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are, walking around normally, and here it is, right? Here is the settlement. It's beautiful. We're going to go check it out. The flames are cool. And one of the reasons, like, it's cool to walk around all drunk and stuff and whatnot, but you have to be careful right here on this bridge while you're walking around drunk because you can fall off this bridge, and if you hit the water, you're dead. You hit, you hit the water, you're dead, man. So don't fall down into the water. Um, we'll do a little bit of exploring here. As you can see here, straight right off the bat, we got some NPCs. And uh, check them out, and they're cool little get-ups. We'll go first person so you can see. Like, see, look, this is clothing that they're wearing, by the way. This is clothing. And uh, there's a lot of different types of it. So here's a couple other guys. Um, he's looking at a box. I can't really. There's there's a whole bunch to look at, guys. So I'm just gonna walk around and show you, and why not? So like here's a here's a chick. 
I believe. Maybe it's a dude. I don't know. I can't tell from the hair, to be honest. But it looks like maybe they got some boobies over and out. But another outfit there. And they're all over the place. Lots of different cool ones. Look at her and her hair. Oh, my God. She looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. She looks just like me, but not as good. <laughs> Okay, so there's another set there. See, all different types of colors and whatnot. I thought that person was about to just walk off the freaking map. Another person here. The last time I was here, they, the, the AI were spawning inside of each other, and that was probably one of the reasons why the um, frames were so bad. This time, it doesn't seem like, at least yet, we, found a, we haven't found a group of AI that are inside of each other. So look, even that one, like that's very revealing there in, in, in this one. She's uh, not wearing a whole lot. She's looking good. She's got the nice hair. She's, she's fucking awesome, right? So it's a lot of cool different NPCs. They're, they're not all wearing armor, by the way. They're not all wearing armor. Like, this guy's wearing just regular looking clothes, right? Um, loot boxes. This is not a loot box. This is just sitting. I believe the loot boxes in this area are yellow. I haven't found any uh, myself, but I'm told that there are loot boxes in this area. I don't know what they look like off the top. I mean, like I said, they're yellow, um, but uh, I haven't found them myself. So there's some nasty looking water here, and it looks like you can use this. Let's let's put this away and find out what it is, right? So let's put that away. Reclaimed water. Okay. So kind of like a um, pyro and whatnot. But so so here's some more of the the location. We'll go explore and, and, and take a look at everything. I'm not gonna like do like super in intense showing off of the place because I want you guys to do that on your own. Um, but you're more than welcome to watch this as much as you want and hopefully we can find a loot box. So I can show what the loot boxes look like. But I'm not gonna look too hard myself for him. Cool little stuff here and there. Oh, here we go, loot box. There we go, right there, loot box. You could also carry these loot boxes. Comes with the multi-tool and some gems in it. Wow, look at that. And some uh, flares. Cool stuff, cool stuff. So there are some loot boxes. You could pick them up and carry them and whatnot, so do you know that. Uh, the comps seem to be up on Hurston. But I will tell you from my experience, last time I was killing NPCs and not taking any crime stats. So I do believe all the NPCs here you can kill without getting a crime stat. They will also fire upon you. So be aware they will fight back. The guys with guns will pull out their guns and fight back. So fire on these guys at your own risk. Um, if you can pull them off... There's some freaking pickles. <laughs> If you could pull them off to um, get them alone and take out one at a time, and it, or, or like you know do a back attack one at a time, the other guys will not know that you had killed one of them. So you can definitely ninja kill some people. So do know that. Um, so there's some more people here with some more different armors and whatnot. Lots of cool armors. Um, there's this. I don't. I haven't walked up there and uh, tried to stand at the top of that fire. Maybe we'll do that at the end of the video uh, because <laughs> I don't know if all that ground works. Like, I'm scared that I'm going to fall through and whatnot. There's another platform over there. We're not going to go explore over there. What we'll do is we'll, we'll go into some of these towers. How about that? So we can show off some of the towers. There's another mask, another set of gear. Looks real nice. Um, I haven't climbed one of these towers yet, so we're going to do that. But we're going to, real quick, run over here. Look at this. There's the windmills. Isn't that gorgeous? Cool stuff. Maybe we'll pick one guy that we're like, oh, this guy's armor is the one that I want to take with me back. Because um, I did not grab a giant tractor beam, like the, 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 the big tractor beams. And you do need those big tractor beams to carry bodies around nowadays, so my little tractor beam is not going to move a body, sadly. So if I want to bring a body back, it has to be done um, with by dragging. I have to drag them all the way back. So here's a tower. This isn't the tallest tower, 
by any means. But here's a nice tower you can climb up on. Um, you get some cool views. Maybe we'll check out the taller tower, tower there. But uh, first, we'll jump off here and check out these little things here. Like this is the upper floor, right? And you got some plants in here. It seems you can pick the plants. Yes, you can. Isn't that cool? Look at that. You can pick the plants. How many of the plants can you pick? It doesn't seem like all of them. Or at least this one doesn't have anything on it, right? So you can't pick that one, but that one does and whatnot. So cool things like that. This is the upper floor. You get lots of, um, you know, <laughs> some uh, placeholders. <laughs> Those will be fixed in the future, you know, hopefully, right? We're not going to forever have placeholder balls sitting in some of the buildings. But uh, there's definitely placeholders. There's a few there, a few there, you know, here and there placeholders. Again, more of these little hydroponic little looking areas where they got some 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 foods and whatnot. That looks sketchy. That looks that looks like a player. Because of the way he's acting. I should knock him out just because he looks so sketchy. Anyways, let's go on the tallest uh, tower, right? There's another guy in some... Look at his nice little jacket, little jean jacket. He's looking pretty slick. Alright. So we'll go up to the tallest tower. Then we'll drag a body back to our uh, ship. And then we'll go and try to stand on the smokestack. How about that? I don't really like this idea of standing on the tallest tower. It seems kind of scary. Because <laughs> going down ladders is not as easy as climbing up ladders. There's also a box over there. Maybe we'll go check out that box. We can figure out how to get up there. Now, is that box always there? I don't know. I don't have all the answers, guys. But I did show you guys how to get here, and I think that's uh, worth a lot, right? <laughs> so I appreciate all the sharing of this video, if you guys do share this video. Um, there are other ways of finding, uh, other ways of getting here and whatnot, but this is my preferred method. It just, it might be a little bit time consuming because you got to fly for say eight minutes or so but at least you get to you get to take in the scenes and stuff while you do that oh gosh oh gosh ladders are sketch guys and there's another one okay so maybe this is the sketchiest part of the trip is climbing this tower <laughs> maybe i should have done this guess we'll find out huh all right, well, how about that for a view, ladies and gents? How about that for a view? It's very scary. I'm not even going to go to the end of that. Um, yes. Why my character cannot stand up straight, I don't know. Can you ask her for me? <laughs> Why can't you stand up straight, lady? Is that the thumbnail of the video? Who knows? Okay, so now let's try to make it safely down these ladders. There we go. We just walked into it. And so far, so good. I think the scariest part is probably the exit of the ladder. There we go. Good job. Uh, the next ladder. There we go. That seemed pretty seamless at the moment. Okay, do not do third person. I don't like it. Third person ladder time is not fun. Okay, this one's a small ladder. Probably could have just jumped down that part, but then you risk falling down the rest of the part, right? Where's that chest? I'm way over there still. Oh, careful of getting back on the ladders. It's kind of really easy to do that. I think this is the next ladder right here. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for this part, guys, but I mean, we're getting full exploration and we're trying it out, right? So, that's what we're doing here. Okay, so I think we've done a good job on successfully getting down without dying. I think I will safely drop down there and be okay with that. Next, we're going to try to get this uh, box that is up on top of this building. The question is, how do we get on top of the building, right? Maybe you have to jump from up there, take this ladder right here and then we get on top of the building 
Was that the building over there, the one that has the box, or is there a different building? Maybe it's the ladder that we're using to get to the box. I don't know. There's the box over there, so do we risk it? Do we risk it for the biscuit? I don't see any other way to get on top of that building, guys. Um, I'm not going to use that med pen until we've landed over here safely. Okay, we did it. Now the question is, can we walk on that beam or do we got to jump? I'm just going to jump. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, I did not mean to carry. That's okay. That's okay. We'll take it. <laughs> That's a nice thumbnail too. <laughs> I am the box man. No? Okay. I am going to go third person for this because I can't see. Okay, that worked. We got down. Man, we're, we are losing health like crazy. Alright, so what's, this, what's in this box here? Oh my god! There's an Argo Cargo! <laughs> we're going to carry this box all the way with us, by the way. We're going to carry this all the way home. <laughs> There's an Argo Cargo backpack. Remember just the other day, guys, Techie was like, Hey, you guys will never get the Argo Cargo backpack. Well, guess what, Techie? I just got an Argo Cargo backpack. So, get on my level, sir. <laughs> uh, wow. That's crazy. Okay, let's find a let's find a person to kill too. I don't know why it's making me walk so slow. Let's pick an armor, guys. What's your favorite armor to get here? What 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 is it? What is the armor of choice? Um, so there's some guys over here, and there's some dudes over here. Hopefully, we could probably kill this guy over here without getting too much attention. I think this is the guy. Look at his arm. Look at his armor. He's the guy. Oh my God, he is the guy, guys. Okay. We're going to drop this and um, we're going to kill this guy. He's got med pens and everything. There we go. So no one else saw that, right? Besides maybe this dude right here. Oh, we can grab him. Okay. Well, this is our this is the guy, guys. This is the guy. He's most definitely the guy. Let's not drop him into the water. Ooh. I don't know why my multi-tool is freaking out a little bit, but let's not drop him into the water. He is the guy. He is most 100% definitely the guy. Look at him. He is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I wish we could... I wish we could wear his stuff. And not die. That's weird. Oh, that's the vehicle. That's why. Oh, wow. Look how cool that is. So look. We throw that on. We throw that on. We throw that on. And we throw that on. How about that for a look, ladies and gents? Again... We're most definitely drunk. We're most definitely drunk. But do we not look like fucking a boss? We even have weapons on our back. Oh, should we walk around like this and try to go up the... We're going to walk like this and, and go up go up the, 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 the smokestack. This is PTU, so I don't really care about this stuff. If this was live, I would maybe care about getting it home. But we're going to end this by walking drunk to the fire stack. And if we survive walking drunk on the fire stack, we will take the Argo Cargo home. <laughs> the Argo Backpack. 
<laughs> now again, this is beautiful screenshots too, right? Let's do a, a scope around. Oof, careful there, buddy. Yes. Yes. I am the king of this land. I think those. I think one of those is going to be the screenshot right there. Just what I just did. One of those has got to be the screenshot, right? So again, be careful that you're walking drunk. You can fall off. So be aware. Try to stay away from the sides as much as you can. I know you're drunk and you don't really have very many options or very many, very much control of it. But try to control it as much as you can. Especially when we're going to go up the smokestack. Should I've done? Should I go up the smokestack while drunk? Probably not. But are we going to do it? Yes, sir. What's really cool about some of this stuff is, look, you can, oh, you can pull out your guns, right? Because they have different guns, right? That are on that are on my back, um, and you can put them away. It's really weird because it's not armor. There's a hitting myself with a med gun and whatnot, or med pen. It's not armor. And if you take this stuff off, by the way, if you take the weapons or grenades or med pens off of the armor you cannot re-equip it so only the freaking npcs can equip these damn weapons to themselves uh, you are not allowed to equip it <laughs> so once once it comes off it's off forever so you have to try to keep this equipped it the way it is and wear it like this forever again is this actually here yes Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Now how cool is that, guys? Wow. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. That's the That's the screenshot right there, guys. That's the screenshot. That's the That's cool too. Maybe we'll do a flip around and try to do see what it looks like flipping around. Right? Like let's flip our person around and then go back into the other third person mode. Yes. We are on fire. How about that, guys? Okay, let's go get the Argo Carger. I don't like that. I want to do this in first person. <laughs> let's go get the Argo Carger backpack and then let's call it a quits or Roonies. oh my god that's so sketch this is so sketch <laughs> everyone's probably yelling at me right now fall fall into the water die for science or for comedy for content fall into the water no guys i don't want to fall into the water i want my argor carger i want my argor carger there it is Arger Carger. Carry. Yes. This is mine. This is my Arger Carger. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just, I'm one of you. I don't know why they're not all, you know, hallucinating and drugged out from the craziness of the, of the shits. But hey. Argo Carver. I got it. It's mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Whoa. Okay. No problem. No problem. No issues. No issues here. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Almost there. And I got my Argo Carter. Alright, let's go to first person. And drop our Argo Carter. We're also going to leave this guy behind. We're not going to take him with us. I don't know why it doesn't give us a place option. It only says drop. Oh, shit. So we're going to have to figure out a way to put that loot box in the right spot. 
I think the idea is to go into here, grab our grab gun, put it in our hand. <laughs> that right there boom I don't know if that's stable or not I don't know guys nonetheless we did it mission complete we're gonna end it here ladies and gentlemen this is gonna be the end uh, I'm too drunk to find the front of my ship I'm trying this is this is good for me guys right here it's the Origin 325A. She's gorgeous. We're not going to get in it. We're just going to stand beside it and look super awesome, right? That's going to be the end of this one, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe tomorrow will be the new Babbage settlement. Who knows? I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see the other settlement as well. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of content. I know it's um, lengthy a little bit, but it's awesome. In my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And of course check out all the other stuff. Like live streams and discord and things like that. Thank you guys. This is Astro Manny signing off. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Can I do emotes while I'm drunk? I can. Have a wonderful day guys. Adios.